pinion in for the 71 C10 and I'm about to get the pinion bearing preload set up and start getting this rear end dialed in. This is the crush sleeve out of that rear end. This with an assortment of shims is a crush sleeve eliminator. Once you get this set up and get the proper bearing preloads on your pinion bearings, you never have to worry about hunting down one of these oddball crush sleeves ever again. It's this, just this. But you gotta get the right shims in there. So I already started once, I, I measured this and I threw the you know, appropriate amount of shims in to get my eliminator back to what this is and it was way too tight, way too tight. So I figured, well, I'll record it, kind of do a little deal here. So this is what we got going on. So like I said, the way I started out was measuring my old crust sleeve and stacking shims on the eliminator until I got to the same height that that one was. And I needed to add 17 thousandths to the eliminator, which was the two, a five, and a 10, and it was way, way too tight. So is what I'll do now is I'll try say that was 17 thousandths. Maybe I'll try a 15 and a 10, you know, jump it up to 25 thousandths and see what that does. So you take your pinion, put your pinion in as you would, put your crush sleeve eliminator over, the shims, you want to use and your bearing. I leave the seal off while I'm setting it up. That way I'm not fighting the seal or getting any extra torque or anything from the seal. Get it put together. I don't have it torqued yet, but I can already tell it's pretty loose. Pretty loose. The way you check it with an inch pound torque wrench, and you can use this style or the dial style. Put it on there, and you see if there's any torque, which there's nothing. It's just freewheeling. It'll gain a little bit as it torques down. It needs to be like 170 foot pounds of torque. We'll make it up with the impact. Oh, we're close to 170, but I can I can tell that 25 thousandths is way too much, so it needs to come apart try maybe 20 thousandths. So I got this torqued to 170 foot-pounds and it looks like the 20 thousandths of shims was right on the money. It puts me right in between 20, 25 inch-pounds of rotating torque. Thank you. 
right where I need it to be at. For a new bearing. Looks good. And that's it. That's using the cross sleeve eliminator, getting it set up where you need it at instead of using the cross sleeve. Now I know every time that that truck comes apart, I'll make a note of it that it needs 20 thousandths of shims in the pinion. And every time the rear end comes apart, that's where I'll start 20 thousandths of shims in there. Check it, see where it's at.